Hello, this is Xbox Ahoy, and this is the 23rd episode of my Black Ops Weapon Guide. Did you miss me? In this episode, we're covering the fourth assault rifle, the FAMAS. It's a fully automatic weapon, unlocked at level 14. The FAMAS, or Fusil d'Assault de la Manufacture d'Armes de Saint-Étienne, is a French weapon currently employed as the service rifle of the French military. The FAMAS project began in 1967, and the first prototype was produced in 1971. Affectionately known as Le Claron by the soldiers who use it, literally meaning the bugle, presumably for its appearance and report. The FAMAS has been employed by the French Armed Forces since 1979, and first saw service in the Chadian-Libyan conflict in 1983. Since then, the rifle has been revised to the G2 specification in 1994, closer meeting NATO requirements, and is an integral part of the modern French military's Filon combat system. Interestingly, the model depicted in Black Ops, with the absent top carry handle, is this more recent F1 Filon variant, and its appearance is anachronistic as it dates to the late 1990s with the introduction of the Filon program. Presumably, the weapon is supposed to be an earlier prototype, dating to the earliest days of the FAMAS project. The cartridge fired is the NATO standard 5.56 by 45mm round, as with most modern Western assault rifles, and is the first French service rifle to fire a standard cartridge. In game, magazine capacity is 30 rounds, and can be taken to 45 with extended mags. Technically, the FAMAS is a low damage assault rifle, on par with the AUG and Enfield in this respect. But in practical terms, kills in the same number of shots as the higher damage automatics, such as the Commando and Galil. While the FAMAS lacks the potential to headshot kill of those rifles, it will still kill in three rounds otherwise, and in addition has a key advantage which enhances its lethality. Rate of fire is very high indeed, at 937.5 rounds per minute, meaning that up close you'll kill much quicker than the higher damage weapons. The ability to get so many rounds onto targets so quickly is what makes the FAMAS so very well known to those familiar with Black Ops. With the faster fire rate comes reasonably high recoil, however. Under fully automatic fire, the FAMAS is quick to drift off target. Recoil is fairly predictable and recovers faster than most other assault rifles, so with careful trigger control, can be tamed. It's worth noting that the FAMAS was recently patched to decrease its effectiveness, adding slightly to the weapon's recoil, decreasing hipfire performance, and slowing the aim time of the weapon. Although the FAMAS used to take 250 milliseconds to aim down the sights, as with most other assault rifles, since the patch it will now take 300 milliseconds to aim instead. Reload is painless enough in most cases, fairly average for the assault rifle category at 2.5 seconds. The full complement of assault rifle attachments is available for the FAMAS, and although the iron sights are reasonably good, there are a range of optical attachments to choose from. The red dot sight replaces the iron sights and provides a clearer view on target, which can be a useful aid to recoil control. The reflex sight is similar, providing an aid to rapid target acquisition and enhancing precision. Both are worthy choices, as it's easy to lose a target at a distance with the recoil and occlusion of the iron sights. For long-range use of the FAMAS, the ACOG scope can be used to provide a zoom advantage and a precision crosshair. The enhanced view on distant targets is useful, but bear in mind the ACOG will increase effective recoil and increase the time it takes to aim down your sights which may impair your overall performance. The infrared scope is similar, providing an even greater zoom than even the ACOG, and a similarly high increase in recoil. It can make locating distant enemies lurking in the undergrowth easier, but for most practical application of the FAMAS, the infrared scope will be nothing but a hindrance. The FAMAS has the ability to send a tremendous amount of lead towards a target, and as such is more than capable of quickly depleting magazine after magazine. Extended mags then can be a worthwhile choice, granting 45 rounds instead of 30, you'll get an extra 50% bonus to your capacity before you'll need to reload, which can be particularly useful against multiple opponents. The FAMAS's insatiable appetite for ammunition can be a problem if you're not using scavenger, but dual mags can permit more effective use of an alternative first perk by granting an extra 50% starting ammunition supply. As well as extra ammo, you'll benefit from a faster alternate reload, occasionally useful should you deplete your magazine partway through a gunfight. For those who prefer a stealthier approach, the suppressor will keep you off the radar when firing, at the expense of a portion of your effective range. Thanks to the fast rate of fire and relatively low differential between the maximum and minimum damage levels, the FAMAS is a good fit for the suppressor, and when paired with Ghost will make for a formidable stealth class. The FAMAS is a fairly versatile weapon, capable of competing at most ranges, 
but if you want to bolster your close range performance, then you can use the underslung weapons. The Master Key adds a pump action shotgun with a four round tube magazine under the FAMAS's barrel, and is capable of one hit kills at close range. In all honesty though, the inconsistent performance and the need to switch to the weapon before you can use it, renders it useless. And the high rate of fire of the FAMAS makes it a potent close quarter weapon in its own right. The same applies to the underslung flamethrower, as it's easily thwarted with Flak Jacket Pro, and has a switch time and limited range, you're better off relying on hipfire when up close and personal. The third underslung attachment is a little more useful, particularly in objective games. The underslung grenade launcher adds a little explosive ordnance to your arsenal, and is a boon when clearing points or bomb sites. In truth though, there are more useful attachments, and given that Flak Jacket exists as a counter to your grenades, bullets will yield far more reliable kills. Overall, the most useful attachments for the FAMAS include the Red Dot or Reflex Sight, Extended Mags, or the Suppressor. The Suppressor suits a stealth class, Extended Mags will grant a better chance against clusters of enemies, and the Red Dot and Reflex Sight will provide assistance in target acquisition and recoil control. For our class loadout, we'll be using the Red Dot Sight, as it's probably the more versatile option and will help when getting to grips with the FAMAS's recoil. With our perks, we'll be building a class designed to get as much lead onto target as quickly as possible. And for our first perk slot, we'll be feeding this voracious weapon with all the ammunition it could ever need. Scavenger will allow you to resupply your ammo and grenades by picking up the blue packs littering the battlefield, and Scavenger Pro will give you double the amount of starting ammunition, 240 rounds upon spawn. This amount will mean that you don't have to worry about the weapon's fast rate of consumption, and as an added bonus you'll have a steady supply of grenades as well. Our second perk helps in close quarter situations, better allowing you to snap onto targets quickly, and this is particularly helpful since the patch, which increased the ADS time of the weapon. Slide of hand halves the time it takes to reload, and the slide of hand pro halves the time it takes to aim, to just 150 milliseconds. This makes the weapon much more nimble, and more versatile in close quarter combat, where you'll be more likely to keep pace with the faster shotguns and SMGs. Our final perk will help ensure that we can get accurate fire onto a target, even under duress, by providing resistance to your enemy's tactical grenades. Tactical Mask will protect you from Nova Gas, but perhaps more usefully, Tac Mask Pro will also protect you from stuns and flashes, ensuring that your enemy cannot blind and subsequently kill you when in close proximity. This ability to output magazine after magazine from cover, without being easy to dislodge with flashbangs, will be a potent mix, and one which will spell your enemy's demise time after time. For your grenades, Semtex is the best option for a faster paced game, with a shorter fuse and inability to be tossed back. Use them to flush out enemies in cover, or as a preventative means against incoming enemies when you're left vulnerable out of cover or reloading. For your tactical grenades, stuns are a great close range defense against aggressive enemies, and their faster throw time suits aggressive usage well. A stunned enemy will find it difficult to remain competitive against the FAMAS up close, no matter what weapon they're using. Your equipment choice is largely dictated by your style of play. For those favoring a more mobile, aggressive style, the C4, Jammer or Tactical Insertion would be good choices. For defensive players, I'd recommend either the Motion Sensor or the Claymore. As the FAMAS is a versatile weapon, there's less need for a secondary backup to fill any close range ability deficit. The FAMAS is more than capable up close. In addition, with Scavenger you're unlikely to run out of ammunition, so you've got quite a degree of freedom in your secondary choice. The Strela 3 is always useful to have at the ready as without Ghost you may be vulnerable to incoming attack choppers. With a launcher at the ready, you'll be able to destroy them almost as soon as they enter the map. As we're using Scavenger Pro, you'll get three missiles with the Strela. If you want to trade the extra round for the ability to tackle ground targets as well, the M72 Law can also be a good choice. The FAMAS is a versatile weapon, with good effective range and ability to be competitive at all but the longest of distances. Its rate of fire makes it the king of close range engagements within the assault rifle category, alongside the similar AUG. The trick to mastering the weapon at a distance is that of recoil control. If you contain the not inconsiderable kick of the weapon, the FAMAS will perform as well as any other assault rifle when engaging distant targets. Burst firing is essential, as otherwise your shots will be inaccurate. You need to fire just a few rounds at a time, as only these will stand a chance at hitting your mark. At a very long range, bursts of just two or three rounds will be most effective. This means it's important to aim first before firing. Similar to the burst weapons, you need to be on target first, or you'll find your shots won't be as precise as they need to be. Generally speaking, unless your target is at close range, you'll do well to avoid automatic fire altogether. Otherwise, you'll simply miss your mark and be left with not more 
than an empty magazine. The FAMAS is a fearsome weapon, long recognised as perhaps the best overall weapon in Black Ops. Despite receiving somewhat of a nerf in a recent patch, it remains a very competitive weapon, with an awesome rate of fire and a three hit kill out to a substantial range. Even with its recoil, the fire rate is such that a short accurate burst might still find a man sized target at a distance. And with tight trigger control, the FAMAS is as deadly at long range as it is up close. This need for trigger control and the moderately heavy recoil is the FAMAS's key downfall. As recoil is random, you can experience quite inconsistent results at a distance with the weapon. And under sustained automatic fire, you'll find the weapon will drift off target. In addition to the recoil, the high rate of fire also mandates frequent reloads. Against multiple opponents, you may find your immediate supply depleted before you've finished slaying. Post-patch, the FAMAS has been stimmied further, with a slower aim time than any other assault rifle and marginally worse hipfire performance. Despite the attempts to rein in the Goliath that was the FAMAS pre-patch, it remains amongst the most effective weapons in game. And while the FAMAS now compares more closely to the other top tier weapons, such as the Galil, G11 and AUG, it remains a very popular choice. If you're able to tame the devastating rate of fire, there's no doubt about it, this on musical bugle will sound your enemy's destruction. Thanks for watching, this has been Xbox Ahoy. As some of you might be aware, I've recently been working with Activision producing official Call of Duty videos for the forthcoming Elite service. My work will be part of the Improved section, and I've produced no fewer than 42 separate videos for the service. So if you're a fan of my work here, I'd strongly advise you register for early access with the beta at callofduty.com forward slash elite. Of course, I still plan to produce content for YouTube, and I'm hoping to resume full-time production very soon. To minimise crossover and to avoid producing the same videos twice, I will be rejigging my output here slightly into a new format, with a slight shift in emphasis to better complement my elite work. To this effect, I will soon be starting a new series entitled Behind the Lines, which will still remain in a familiar one gun per episode format, but grants me a little more freedom to cover multiple games, such as Battlefield 3 this November, and allow me to focus on the more interesting weapons from Black Ops and Modern Warfare 3. Join me for the first episode in which I'll be covering the FNFAL. Expect it within a few weeks. Until then, Farewell.